Today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. For the past couple of weeks, we have been looking at the power of God's Word. And any word spoken to us by God carries in itself the anointing and power of God. Power is effectual only for those who believe. And we know that it says that, I believe, therefore I speak. So we're planting seeds by speaking. So let's look again. We've looked at this before, but let's look at Mark chapter 4 and verse 14. This is a parable that Jesus is speaking, but it's how the kingdom works. And he said, if you don't understand this parable, you can't understand any of them. Because again, it's pertaining to the power of God's word. <clears throat> the sower sows the word. We have to understand that the word of God is seed. Any seed that you have has the life of that seed, the nature of that seed in it, whether it's a vegetable, whatever it might be. God's word is seed, and in it is the life of God, the ability to create anything that is in that particular seed. So the word of God is the seed, and we need to plant that seed by saying, for instance, if you need healing to flood your body, one, it's already in your spirit. Jesus already paid the price for it, and the life the healing, or it could be prosperity, but let's just focus on healing, which we've done for the past few weeks. The life, the healing power of God is in the seed, the word. By his stripes, you were, past tense, healed. As you speak that word and realize that Jesus bore your sicknesses and diseases, you are now sowing that word into your heart and it will bring forth whatever is in that seed. There is life healing in that seed. So once it's planted, we have to let it grow. And as you sow the seed, healing seed, the healing life that's in that seed will come forth as it grows in through your body. Thank you for joining us today. Music